What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to another episode of On The Bench with Pete. This is a series you put on in the background as your hobby or paint along. Now why am I here in my kitchen? I've just made a cup of tea in the Parallax mug. More about that later. But I'm going to head on out to Mini Warzone now so you can come with me. You can see the setup, what we've got going on. I'm just looking down so I don't trip over stuff. There we go. On the right path now. Yeah, we'll do about an hour of painting and uh, we'll see how that uh, goes. Dark bit coming up. Oh, and then it'll go light again. There we go. <laughs> right, just going to flip the camera around. There, so there's the setup. Oh, there's my bench. That's the camera I'm going to be working from. Microphone. Oh, look, I've just painted, well, I've just primed my manticore from Reaper Bones. I don't know if I'll be painting that yet. I don't know if he's dry enough yet. I'll be dragging my paints over momentarily. I'm gonna shut that door. Bit of privacy, fan on. Yeah. Look, my screen, camera, camera. That's weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so enough silliness. Grab your paints, brushes, models, whatever else you're using or doing, and we'll do about an hour of painting hobby, and I'll talk about stuff, and we'll get stuff done, and it'll be good, and you know, life will be good. So let's get to the bench. Okay, so yes, Manticore is still here because he's probably dry now, very dry now, because uh, it's been quite a, a long time since I did the intro. Because <laughs> my daughter came home and we were basically having a conversation. So, but yeah, so I probably can paint him now. The Centurions here. I want. Does this chap here? He's got like a uh, a. Let me just zoom in a bit here. See that? He's got like a an empty space on his shoulder guard pad thing there, and I'm wondering if I can get a um, you know a ultramarines symbol on him so what I'm going to do is I'll do a bit of an old fashioned way I'll do it. put some hard coat on him on there to make that nice and shiny and while that's, that's dry, actually I'll shake it up a bit more and then I can uh, wait for that to dry cut out the transfer, hopefully put it on hopefully it goes well, but we shall see and uh, all will be well anyway, yes, yeah, so uh, back to it I get easily distracted um, this is a, hopefully, one that's in the bag going to be one in the bag, so like a week in advance because it's kind of got away from me uh, lately, I just haven't had the time. It's been crazy busy. My lifestyle. Right, there we go. And, uh, you know what, with work and everything else, it's just been impossible to keep on top of it. Although I haven't let it slide. I had a day late once, but that, that was that was it. And that's not bad, not bad at all. Now, as I said in the um, in the intro, um, using uh, the mug of my wife's second book, Parallax, and the Wolf Angel Chronicles, it's available to buy now from Amazon um, in, hard, in, in, in physical form as well as uh, the electronic version, the Kindle version. So, hmm. so that's good. And I wanted to talk about that because... I'm going to be doing an interview, another interview, with my wife on that. And I'm going to be asking her some questions from um, this company called Book Fox. And um, they have some very good questions. Uh, not necessarily common ones you would ask an author, some, there's some alternative ones. So I thought that would be good. And, and I, I don't know, I'd like to invite you know you guys if you want to ask any questions as well. because. The reason I'm putting it on my channel is so that the video's out there and it can be referred to at any time from any number of websites then. Once it's on there, it's on there. 
Initially, I thought, well, I could just put it for patrons so that it doesn't interrupt the flow of the hobby. It's not technically hobby, really, although it is in a, in a sense, because a lot of the models I've done in the past have been based off of characters from her book, so gives me inspiration. And I like to do a little diorama for each book that she writes. Um, now, you've seen, or well, you should have, I, I did it somewhere. Um, I did a diorama of Parallax. I did one for Knight of Phalor as well, but I did one for Parallax back along. And I'm going to do another one for the next book. Um, so when that when that one's finished, I'll do an, uh, yet another diorama. I'm just trying to find the right kind of models and pieces for that. What I'm after, ideally, would be a like gothic type bridge or gothic type structure um, which you know you can get but it's got to be the right one anyway enough of that so yeah if you guys want to ask any questions um, put any questions to her I'm happy to put them to her so when we do do the interview it will be uh, you know you can get involved basically it's pretty exciting times right now for her book and her books because, um, you know, picking up traction, especially as an author. She's like a regular contributor to Fl Friday Flash Fiction now, so that's good. And, I don't know, being her editor, so to speak, I'm deeply humbled because she really is an awesome awesome writer she really is um, oh, I'm just gonna... now I know being a media student our ex media student <laughs> an English student okay. have my degree in English and I've studied a lot of literature I know good writing when I see it and uh, she really does have good writing so I've got to promote her work wherever I can you know so if you get some any help would be appreciated Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be coming up. So, Mrs. Minnie Warzo, or Bex Gooding, as is her offer name, will be answering questions. And she's a great sport when it comes to me and my hobby, and she's been a really good supporter of what I do. Sorry, I'm just trying to... <laughs> just trying to manoeuvre this around. I'm just pressing it down here. There, so the decal is on. That's good. I'll let that dry and then I'll put some Lemayan medium onto it so that it dries properly and takes the shine away. Dries properly? I don't know what I'm talking about. Just takes the shine away, is what I'm trying to say. Yes. So that was the Ard coat. So we'll dull it down with some Lemayan medium in just a bit. So I'll let them dry off a bit over there first. So that's good. So that's one thing. Uh, to do his... He's like Mohawk there. On his helmet there. And look at the manticore. I may want to do... Some stone effect here. I, you know. Yeah, I think I will. Why 
wonder if I've got, if I can do it with a contrast paint. I wonder if I can do it with a contrast paint. I just realised I haven't... Sorry, I just realised I haven't brought my paints over. Uh, we're here now though, so that's alright. Yeah, so we got Black Templar, which I may put on the stones. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Because oh, I just want to give that a nice old shake there. And I'll use old base brush. I say old; they're not that old, but they they don't um they don't last long. <laughs> yeah, just thinking it, it 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 just might be quicker. That's all. Putting some black Templar onto his base maybe maybe Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a bit better what I'm doing here uh, is that better for you? You can see it a bit easier then. I'm just trying to thoroughly cover the base. It's quite a cool name as well, Black Templar. You know, after the Black Templars. <laughs> Uh, I love the names they come up with on these things. So literally a primer and a contrast paint. And we'll see how that turns out. Here, my dog's barking. Right, pop that one away. Yeah, that's good. That's excellent. In fact, I like how that's turning out already. I may be lazy and just leave it like that as the uh, as the stones. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Going to have to have a look, see what those guys are barking at if they keep up. But my daughter's there, so she should be able to take care of it, whatever it is. Um, right, I think we might be ready for the main medium now on this one. We can dial it off again. So if I put my manticore, pick him up by the wings, put him to one side, he can dry off nicely whilst we're doing the rest of our models. Yeah. I'll have to get some more of those contrast paints. I really do like them. Medium done. Pachow. And that'll be his uh, his shoulder guard done, and so that's cool. The other ones have got kind of um, the the uh, like the Aquila 
eagle thing going on there, so don't know about that. Um, I'm going to do his mohawk and I'm not going to do it white, I'm going to do it grey white or white grey, whatever you, whatever works is best for you. This, I, I love this. One of my new favourite paints. One of. Way too much there, but oh well, hey ho. And he rolls his brush handle in it. Because that's clever. Not. Just want to put a bit of water in it. Now I have, I have seriously got to get myself a new a new um, detail brush I've got this this one here right so I'm just doing his um, his mohawk Got like oh, he's got like some skull emblem thing and intertwined with it as well. Oh well. You don't actually see till you look closer to come do the painting. Loving my week off so far. Going to Exeter tomorrow for some more awesomeness. I love Exeter as a shopping place. It's different to where I live, so it's just somewhere different and it's not too far away. Yeah, it's about an hour's drive, that's it. And um, we can be there. My wife's got a day off, so she's coming with me. And it's going to be good. There we are. Done. First time using that brush. Hobby small detail. Nice. I like it. Wonder if it's replacing the old detail brush. Doesn't matter, it's just really different handles, the only real difference. Just check, make sure everything's okay here. Right, so, so far. Oh, and I've got my dwarf cleric to do as well. So he needs to. Um, I was thinking about a grey, perhaps, for his, his like under jacket thing, tunic, whatever, but I'm not sure. Not sure, or um, even this white grey could work for that. It has a lot of uses, you know, this white grey. I made pasties yesterday on the day of recording this cheese and onions, and they went down a treat. Well, I've still got a load left actually, but yeah. Went down a treat. Went down a storm. Uh, I tell my colleagues uh, from work how you know. I mean, they know I've told them I used to be a baker, but um, 
I don't know what they they think about that. I really don't. Uh, but the fact is, I I did used to be a baker, and um, pretty darn good one at that. And my old bakery, where I used to work, it's been closed down a couple of years now. And um, it would have been an ideal place to start up and start your own business. It would have been ideal. It was a gold mine at one point. That place, a gold mine. The location was just incredible. Incredible. Had um, all the dockyard traffic coming in from the shop. Was well busy, and we had all the deliveries going on. Ah, it was just. It was awesome. Very, very, very busy. Stupid mistakes made on the part of the owner there. It's a sad tale, really. It's a sad tale. We had this uh, Saturday girl came in, started working on Saturdays, and he fell for her. Um, left his wife, went with her, gave her everything, gave her all control of the business, and that she she had no clue at all. I'm sorry, but she didn't. No clue at all about business and what the business needs. She just, you know, she made all the wrong decisions, took everything out of the business, didn't put anything in, and yeah, she ran it into the ground. It went under, which is a shame because it was an institution, Rondoni pasties. They were phenomenally good. I know, I used to make them. And I know how clean and pristine a bakery it used to be, especially when I ran it. We used to pass all the um, health and safety, uh, food hygiene standards, pass all that because we were good. We were very, very good. Right, so I'm putting some of this white grey out now. Put some drying retarder in with it. Um, I'm going to put a blob of and a medium with it too. Thin that down a bit. Because you get you really maintain your control when you keep the Lemay medium with it, so that's good. Now let's paint your tunic, my friend. And I don't actually mind that you'll have black showing through it. I, I'm I'm really after a dirty white anyway. So I want him to be. I want him to be lawful good. Don't want to be too cliched and say, oh, you know, a pristine white. Tunic. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, my colleagues, they were just talking, got a little group chat thing. Oh, what's up to help pass the time of the day, you know, when you're in work and we're not all together. It does, it makes time go quicker. Anyway, talking about setting up Pete's pasty shop. <laughs> what funds we'd need for that. It would have been ideal, you know. I had the chance to kind of do something like that about seven years ago. And, um, well my funds were invested in my studio here instead so I stand by my decision because this helps me with my condition whereas if I bought out a, a, an old bakery although yeah I had the knowledge how to run it and how to operate the machines and so on you know, it wouldn't have done anything for me therapy wise, I don't think. In fact, it would probably have been stressful, it could have been quite the opposite effect. So, I'm, I'm glad I made the decision I did. Uh, 
and I have no regrets not on that there excellent excellent well that cup of tea went down a tree I could do another one although we're not even halfway through not even halfway through the on the bench yet so I'll have to wait until that's over oh what have we got here I feel like I need to do work on my terminators, but I also need to, I don't know, finish this guy off here. Um, well, I'm quite happy with him the way he is. In fact, I might just, yeah, I'm going to just put some varnish on him. Then he is done. Let's turn my fan. So it's facing me a bit more. Wow. So that in a nutshell was the Fall of the bakery I used to work for, Ron Dooney Limited. And how he, the, the the owner made stupid decisions, trusted the wrong people. Definitely trusted the wrong people. Uh, still, his loss. I was so young. I, know. I wish. I wish I could go back in time with the wisdom I have now. Oh man, I could make so many good decisions. So many good decisions. left of the um the varnish in here but I'll put it back in anyway because waste not want not and that will be another um D, &D model complete yes that's good uh, now the gun casings on these uh, Centurions, I've really got to think about what's going to go on with them. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. I think we'll have a bit of corn red going on there because that's quite a good. Um, or should I have brown? Ooh, there's a decision, I don't know. What about the blacksmith? Trousers, what trousers to wear? Um.
gain, I don't know. I do not know. Hmm. All right, what about the Hobbit then? <laughs> Hobbit, the halfling. I think he needs a wash on his cloak. And I want a green wash, so... Sort of green. No, that doesn't look much like a green wash to me. Not washy enough. <laughs> Phonian camo shade? Yeah, go with a Phonian camo shade. That seems like a more cloaky type one. Yeah. Okay, Phonian camo shade. Come it up. Because it's kind of a brown wash with green undertones. Yeah. So is that done? Excellent. that. Oh, and there's this guy. I think he just needs a all over wash of uh, great surf shade to be honest. So that's what I'm going to give him right now this second. One brigand done. When he's dry, he can get varnished. Because he's just going to be a, um, like an NPC. I'll put that away in there. Right. I'm going to do his trousers on the on the uh, the blacksmith here. He's got a couple of spots of white on him, which I'm not happy about. Trousers actually look all right, apart from that, which is annoying. And what time have I got there? All right, 32 minutes. So, uh, uh. over the halfway mark. So, you know what I'm going to ask you? What are you working on? And let me know in the comments below what what it is you are working on right now. I would like to know. Just washing these brushes out. Excellent. Right. Yeah. Okay. Umbral umber is the colour I'm going for. For his trousers and yeah. And done. <laughs> you can have a wash or a glaze actually after that. Um, but yeah, he's essentially done. So, I think my halfling is pretty much there. Maybe a, a dry brush, a subtle dry brush on his cloak, and he'll be done. He's so small, he doesn't really need. An awful lot doing to him. Right. Just picking up the towels I dropped. <laughs> okay. 
so he can get over there. Terminators. For a while, so I've got to shake it quite well. Do you want to see the manticore? See how he's looking? Not bad. I think you will need a one dry brush on on the rocks, but you know, or the stone brickwork. But that ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right, corn red. It's quite a funky colour, corn red. Yeah. Right. Put some a drying retarder. Two drops. Ooh, got all over my fingers. Bit of water. Ew. Right. And gun casing. Here we come. Actually, I'll cover over the whole thing. I'll do the the, um, the little sword emblems on the gun separate later on. Okay. So these guys, um, I was saying the other day, or yesterday I think, you haven't had a game of anything in ages. The last game I played was a role playing game, D&D. No, I mean tabletop game. I'm wondering if my next game should evolve Dark Angels. I think I'd like it to. The trouble is I want to play all the armies, so I can't, I can't really do that. So I'll take my Dark Angels. I think it will be good. Yeah. Right. That's one Terminator. And his gun. Actually. Yeah. Might have to go back over and repaint that. Or add to it. I've I've missed a spot, as it were. <laughs> anyway, I need this therapy because guess what I was doing earlier today, this morning, in fact. I was putting up shelves. Oh, I hate doing that, especially in older walls. Never goes as you meant as it's meant to, does it? And the drill bit snapped in the wall, and I need to get myself some new drill bits as well. I mean, the masonry drills I've got, I've had them for donkey's years. They really are crap now. So I do need to replace them. I know that. But don't blame your tools, Pete. You know. Well, there's three shelves. They're, they're up now, so that's the main thing. I'm thinking of hosting a Zombicide night soon. I've got this idea in my head for a nighttime game played at night, which will ultimately mean 
for house rules uh, sakes um, all the to hit attack rolls are going to be harder and unless someone with you or you have a flashlight and if you have a flashlight you got to make sure you're using it with a one handed weapon other than that it's going to be harder at least that's what I reckon anyway I think that would be quite fun yeah I was having a conversation earlier today which made me think about a lot of regrets I have in life and one of them is to do with my father the biggest regret I have with my father is I wish to goodness I had paid more attention to him he knew stuff he really did yeah, I miss his wisdom and counsel. I really do. He tried to show me how to fix a window once, like old school style. The pane of glass and everything. The putty and. There's a lot of older buildings here. It was an old flat I was in. I didn't pay attention. I wished I did. <laughs> Far from a time over again, I think I might have liked to have worked with him for a bit, you know, as his um, apprentice. He was a painter and decorator. I think he could have um, taught me to be a very good one. Still, you can't live your life thinking about the things you should have done or should have said or anything like that. Otherwise, you, you, it drives you crazy, doesn't it? I've missed out on a lot of opportunities in life. My own fault. But I'm still waiting for the opportunity to do something with YouTube. I don't know. Just become a little bit more successful. That would be nice. That would be nice. I'd like that. You know, I'm not asking to be PewDiePie or anything like that. Just a little bit more. I think everybody wants just a little bit more, don't they? Most people do. Otherwise, you get some megalomaniacs want to take over the world and the universe and everything but uh, yeah just a little bit that would be nice <laughs> okay so that's that done have a look at my wizard uh, for the most part he is done so I'm going to take him off his base now hold the holder It was a job to get the um, all the blue tack out from the underneath the model. Sometimes when you got that slot, these slotter bases, 
Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like screaming. Sometimes. It's a Deep Purple song, isn't it? Sometimes I feel like screaming. It's a good song. I love the way the harmonics are played out on the uh, guitar. Stuff. I think we're good to go. Excellent. Right. There he is. I kept the staff bent on purpose. I know you might think, oh, yeah, sure. But it's an easy fix, isn't it? Uh, hot water, bend out, and then cold water. But I wanted to keep it bent. Because I just want, I want it to look more like a piece of wood, as opposed to a piece of metal. I didn't paint it. I wanted it black. It's a black stone with a green um, gemstone effect on the top. That is exactly how I want it to be. So you know, to any haters out there, tough. That is exactly how I want it. And it's a D and D figure, you know. So yeah. So he's going over there. He's done, he's off the bench. Off the bench. And, um, yeah, Manticore, Manticore, where art thou? Yeah, still drying, so nothing else to do on him just yet. Although, I may do his body. Hmm. I'm I'm tempted. I'm, I'm I am curious about using a, a yellow on his body uh, and the leathery wings. Um, uh, a fish. I don't know, a skeleton horn on his wings or something like that. Snake bite leather might be one. Snake bite leather. Yep, snake bite leather. Yeah, I'm thinking snake bite leather on those wings. If I don't know if I can pull it off. Hmm. No, maybe I'll do his body next. Let's move this out of the way. The palette. Oh, we're on 51 minutes. Wow. Move these terminators out. I was thinking of a yellow. Uh, Nasdreg yellow comes to mind as opposed to Iandan yellow. So I'm thinking Nasdreg yellow for his body. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Kind of scared. <laughs> but there you go. Naz Dreg Yellow. Hmm, coming out all right, I think. I'm quite liking this. I mean, it's a it's a grey primer. It's just plain grey. Um, so 
you know, it's not going to have vast highlights on it. But it should be just enough to show me where the highlights would look best. Well, you know, thinking back on, on my life, bakery days now, I was thinking, where, where's the time gone? Where has that time gone? It's, it's just gone. You know? And that is crazy. Yeah, totally crazy, man. Well, I'm liking this uh, look for him. Although it's not really giving me much in the way of uh, contrast as such. But I am quite liking it as a colour, I mean. Really really digging it actually yeah I like it a lot I'm not going to paint the whole thing in contrast just the main three sections uh, the base the body and the wings other details well that's going to be different <laughs> really like this uh, this looks really good so we may go over the hour a bit here because I want to get this section done on my manticore I will wait until this is completely dry before moving on to the wings of course Yeah, I really, really, really dig it. I like it. Well, this is Nasdrake Yellow over a normal grey primer. It's one of the things I find it works best on, if you want the information, is white grey, the colour white grey. So put a thin layer of that on to whatever it is you're painting first, if you want a decent contrast effect uh, for flesh it's second to none I think yeah I did buy one of the sprays to start with to help me on my way yeah, I'm li liking that digging that my glasses are coming off though because we are pretty much at the end here uh, yellow Nasdrake yellow yeah I am digging that, really digging that, my manticore, love it, I absolutely love it, little details are going to be added on, when, it, when it's all done with the contrast then I should be adding the further details onto it, but yeah, that is super cool, I really do like that, so, I've got my manticore bit done, did the tunic on my dwarf, though he looks a bit rough at the moment. Could have shades and highlights and contrast put on there as well. Not contrast, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, a little bit on the blacksmith, his trousers. Although I did his hair just before the start of the the episode, 
Uh, wash going on to the back of um, this halfway. I'm going to put a little subtle dry brush on there. My brigand. And he's going to be ready for varnishing up. Uh, work's done on my centurions. So he's got the uh, the um, ultramarines uh, symbol on there now on his uh, shoulder pad. So that's good. Didn't do anything on the others. Oh yeah, I did the um, the mohawk on that one. Well, I did the white of it. And that's it, I think. Uh, and of course the wizard, which is finished. Uh, but other than that, so I'm going to end it here. Wow, so thank you very much. I've I've got my other camera back in hand now. So um yeah, that was a that was a crazy session. I enjoyed that a lot. Thanks for coming along with for the ride, guys. Really enjoyed it. Ah. Oh. And um yeah, I'm just going to enjoy myself with more cuz I'm on holiday. I'm still on holiday. And yeah, I'm just going to chill out. Do stuff. Um organize a, a game as on beside for later in the week perhaps next week um so far anyway we're gonna be possibly playing a one shot D, D game don't know what yet um we're gonna meet up beforehand and discuss some ideas for that so that'd be interesting uh look forward to that i love D, &D. and um yeah so life is good at the moment let me know like i say what you're working on i'm, I'm still super impressed by this uh manticore dude yeah, really impressed by him. So, uh, loving that. Yeah, so like I say, let me know what you're working on down below. Uh, remember, all brushes lead to war. Check out my Patreon account if you've a mind to support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, other videos that the uh, everyone else doesn't see. And, uh, of course, they're all HD and ad-free. So, yeah, one dollar. One dollar a month. Go on, do it. You know you want to. Help me out, and it will help me to help you. So, anyway, end commercial. See you on the next one, guys. Bye for now. Bye-bye.